So the question says the average of 11 consecutive natural numbers is R. By how much will the average increase if the next four natural numbers are also added? Right? So basically there are 11 consecutive natural numbers. There are 11 consecutive natural numbers average of which is given as R. So by how much will this average increase if the next four natural numbers are also added? Right? So you've got 11 consecutive natural numbers for which the averages are. If you include the next four natural numbers as well, by how much will the average increase is the question here. Right? So let's take it up. I think the easiest way to solve this question is to just, you know, go with the assumption that these 11 consecutive natural numbers are 1 to 11. 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on up to 11. Because see, the concept uh, would remain the same, right? The answer would remain the same irrespective of which 11 natural numbers do you choose? Whether these are 1 to 11 or 120 to 130 or 121 to 131, irrespective of what natural numbers do you choose, consecutive natural numbers do you choose, the answer would remain the same, right? So the point is, there are 11 consecutive natural numbers for which the average is R. Here the average is equal to R, right? By how much will the average increase if the next four natural numbers are also added? Now next four natural numbers meaning what? 1, 2, 3, 4, so on up to next four. So we are we have already taken up to 11. Now you have to take next four, which means you have to go up to 15. So if the next four natural numbers are also included, what will be the average is the question. Basically find out the average and then consider the difference. By how much will the average increase is the question. Now we very well know that the average of consecutive numbers, remember average of, we have discussed this in our topic of averages and number systems as well. The average of consecutive numbers, whether they are consecutive natural numbers or consecutive even numbers or consecutive odd numbers or consecutive multiples or whatever type of consecutive numbers we have, average is always the middle number. Average is always the number which is in the middle. If there is no single middle number, then you have to take the average of the two middle numbers, right? So this is the key point, right? The average of consecutive numbers is always the middle number. So if I look at the numbers 1 to 11, what is the middle number? What is the centermost number? 6. 6 is the centermost number, right? For the first 11 numbers, the average is going to be 6. 6 is the centermost number. So can you say this average R is equal to 6? Yes. Now look at the next series. When there are 15 numbers, what will be the average? Again the middle number. These are all consecutive numbers. And the middle number, the centermost number will be 8. See 15 by 2 is 7.5, right? So you take 8. 11 by 2 is 5.5, so take 6. The rounded off number, the next rounded off number to whatever uh, half of this large number you get. I mean the highest number you get. You getting it? If you divide these 15 numbers into two sets, 1 to 7 is the first set, 9 to 15 is the second set, in the middle we'll have in the middle we'll have 8. So the average here is going to be 8. Average here is going to be 8. You're able to follow? So for first 11 numbers the average is 6. For first 15 numbers the average is 8. What is the difference in these two? It has increased by how much? 2. It has gone up by 2. So that's what is the question. By how much will the average increase? The average will increase by 2 when the next 4 numbers are also included. Now you might be wondering that why did we choose 1 to 11? How do you know that the numbers are 1 to 11 and 1 to 15? No. This is an assumption. But the point is irrespective of what the numbers are, the change in average will always be 2. The change in average will always be 2. So option 4 will be the answer. Like even if you consider let's say uh, the 11 numbers as like for example let's start from 25. So 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. These are the 11 consecutive natural numbers, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now for these 11 consecutive natural numbers as given here, what is the average? Average is the centermost number which comes out to be 30. 5 here and 5 here. So 30 is the average. When you, in, when you include the next 4 uh, natural numbers, what are the next 4 natural numbers? 36, 37, 38, 39. 36, 37, 38, 39. What will be the average now for the new series? This is the original average. This is the original average. What will be the new average? Now there are how many numbers? 15 numbers. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is the centermost number. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is the new average. After including the next four numbers. Now what is the difference in these two? 30 has become 32. Which means the average has increased by 2. So that's what would happen. Irrespective of what these natural numbers are, the average will always increase by 2, right? If you have included the next 4 natural numbers, average will increase by 2, right? Similarly, let's say if you have included next 6, average will increase by 3. If you have included the next, like what happens? If I include 2 more numbers here, 40 and 41, the average will become 33. The average will become 33. Yes or no? Which means the increment in the average depends on how many 
next natural number to be included again because these are natural numbers it is working out like this if these are uh, odd numbers or even numbers then that will be a different process so that is the reason i don't want you to depend too much on a shortcut formula just remember that the concept here is average is always the middle number so based on that when i include the next four numbers i am jumping by two and hence the answer would increase by two the average would increase by two